First Zoom TV at Computex 2009 at the Lee and Lee booth here. And uh, this is Hank, who's going to show us their latest case right now. Sure. Hank? Uh, as you can see here, we got we launched a new case, which is uh, in Tail series. This is a PCX 1000, and you can see it's uh, very similar to the previous X 2000, but we change the optical face in the front, so it's easier for some user to assess the optical. Okay, all right. And the internal we separate a uh, whole system into three zone. The upper zone is optical drive and hard, hard drive. Middle room is uh, motherboard and graphic cards, and lower part is a uh, power supply and uh, hard drive. And so, whole, complete whole unit is toolless. As you can see, the uh, graphic, uh, sorry, the optical drive can be mounted without any screws. Same as uh, the, the hard drive tray, it can be removed. After you put it in, it's placed back. All right, and the whole thing is made out of aluminum, or yep. it's everything is 100% aluminum. Yep. All right, and uh, the SSD um, uh, base can actually be removed as well. Yep. Uh, and if you want to set up a three-way SLI or Postfire X system, you can remove the like, a two and a half inch uh, SSD cage. Because this case as well, uh, just like the Raven 2, has eight slots, so yeah. you can have the last VGA, double slot VGA, hanging over the motherboard a little yes. bit. And uh, I see you have some holes for water cooling as well, yep. for the yep. tubing to go out. Mm -hmm. And the whole thing has five 140 millimeter fans, yep. so two in the back, three in the front. And what, what are they rated at? How many CFM at what decibel? Uh, they, they are running at 1,000 RPM. 1,000 RPM? Yep. So it's, you can, but because of the size of the fan, you can, you can uh, remove a lot of air. Do you know the specs? How many CFM per decibel? Uh, or? Sorry, <laughs> I, I, didn't, okay. so okay. I didn't know them. Don't and they are mounted with some gum, with some rubber in between the... Yeah, are they uh, mounted with rubber? Or? Yeah, there's a rubber ring, so it can okay. uh, absorb the vibration to right. reduce the noise. All of them, right? Yes. All, all the five 140 millimeter fans are mounted with a rubber protection ring around the screw, so that absorbs the vibration from the fans and shouldn't be any noise generated from the fans besides them spinning. And since they're 140 millimeter, they're moving a lot of air without spinning very fast and creating a lot of noise actually. Yes. Um, it's possible to slide out the power supply cage to the bottom, uh, yes. on, to the to the back, and install the power supply, and then yes. slide it back in, right? Uh, it's fitted with uh, our Leonis uh, patent uh, slide out motherboard tray design. All right. uh, I mean power supply tray design. So you can slide the power supply out. If you need more space, actually you can remove the complete hardy cage out. So you get a longer space for the power supply. For the very big power supplies, yes. there's enough space in there. Yeah. All right. And yeah, you can remove the hard drive cage easily on the top. You can remove the hard drive cage on the bottom easily. Yep. And the optical drives use a very nice plug and play, simple plug and play system as well. Yep. And uh, bonus point is uh, the motherboard tray can be removed as well. The motherboard tray can be removed as well, but not sli uh, slide it out, right? It's uh, open from the oh, left hand side. All right. So if you open the back side of the case, you can remove the motherboard tray. Yep. All right. And I see you left enough space so people can mount a big heatsink and a backplate on the motherboard's yes. backside. And, you, and we, we have made an opening so you can remove the retention module for uh, CPU coolers. So you can upgrade your CPU without removing the motherboard. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Very nice. Okay.